life path of great people, an amazing example of unique personalities, sincere conversations with favorite artists. All of this you can find in the Darabos project. In the Darabos studio, you will learn about a deep analysis, valuable opinions, authoritative judgments from prominent figures. The author of the text of these amazing songs is the poet Israel Saparbai. Kader Mirzalif called him a permanent representative of the literature, but he considers himself to be a poet who took his pen in his hands very late, and he destroyed most of his own poems before he turned 30, and he came to drama when he was 50 years old. Theaters performed his works like Amir Timur, Abai Tokjan, Holiday of Love, Gypsy Serenade. <laughs> Today the guest of the Darabos program is Israel Saparbai, poet, composer, playwright, laureate of the Platinum Tarlan Prize. We are very glad to see you, Aha. I am sincerely grateful for the invitation. Muka Galima Kataev wrote about three happinesses – people, language and homeland. And what are the three types of happiness for Israel Saparbai? First of all, I am deeply thankful for the life God and my parents had given to me. To be able to see this world is also happiness. Great happiness. Good answer. You write poems on a variety of topics. Many of your verses were turned into songs. They have become popular. What are some topics to write on in a poem? The poet should write as much as possible. Poets do not share themes. I often write on social and sensitive topics. Remember the Russian poet of the Soviet period, Andrei Voznesensky. He's an architect by profession. Then he graduated from acting courses, after which he taught at the Institute of Acting. He said, I'm walking along verses, rather, they're pacing me. He wrote poetry during his studies on the way to the Architectural Institute and back. I write on a large number of topics. I do not boast, but in addition to poetry, drama, I write on artistic and historical topics. I'm going to publish a book about Amir Timur. I translated the works of Yesenin and gave it to the publisher. I'm going to start writing a play. Literature will get rich significantly. This is not all. Kadur once said that the poet has three themes. I write on five, six topics. If I'm healthy, I will write. It is not a matter of whether they will read poetry or not, whether they will stage my place. The main thing is that they will become part of my legacy. Thanks God. My theme of works is different and expanding. Kadir Aga once said, Israel has at least three wings. Now I have more wings. They have become bigger, the field of my activity expanding. I was told, Israel, here you go on stage perform. One is tall, the other of medium height. And we are shorties. And I answered, no, we're not like that. We are of average height.
songs written by Israel won the love of listeners, became hits. <laughs> I especially like Egis Lebis among these songs. I have a friend. He lives in Almaty. We have not seen each other for about 15 years. So he is the author of the music. His name is Jumagul Kadiraliyev. He graduated from the conservatory. He's a composer. And the song Egis Lebis is composed by him. At that time, many of my songs were already popular. I already knew how to write songs. The main thing is to get really good and have abilities. If you know how to write poetry, then write them for a song is not difficult. He brought me his works. He already had songs. For example, he wrote Koshnarim. But this song of his turned out to be completely different in style and has many transitions. I started it and told Jumagul that it was complicated. And he said, who will write if not you? I brought it to you. It took me a whole week to write the lyrics to that song. The lyrics were written in a week, in a week. The stops were non-standard. I did not know how this could be a song. I tried the best I could and wrote. So, Myra Norkenova performed it first. Then it was performed by Tolkien Zabirova. And all of these versions are great. The song was performed by the older generation, then the middle one. Now the younger one is keeping up with them. And whose performance do you like more? My rapper performed it first. She's a very good and talented singer. And quite unexpectedly, the song became very popular. All the people sang it. I thought that's all. And then Orjan Kerminbaev appeared. I was stunned when he and Sultanat performed it together. <laughs> They're completely different from the first two performers. Those singers sang in their own specific format. And this couple gave the song a different shade. The song was updated. It was liked by both old generation and by the youth. This song is for those who never get old. Now we lost contact with Jumagul. Once he began to do business, travel to the United States, China, then it seems things went bad. I don't know what happened to him, and I don't have his number. Everyone says that Egiz Lebis is my song. I answer, no, it is not mine. I wrote only lyrics, and the music was written by Jumagul Kadir Aliyev. People ask me where he is. So no sign of him. Sometimes a lot depends on the lyrics. Now I see the results of my weekly work. Nurjan and Sultanat not only gave all the overflows, but also added their own. Each song has its own destiny. Yes, I have written about two dozens very famous songs. Most of all, I like this one.
What is the secret to the longevity of your songs? All of them are famous. There are a lot of songs now. Many people write text for songs. If we turn to history and look at the famous Berjan, Akan, Shusup and others, we will notice that they themselves wrote poetry, performed the music themselves. All the songs of those times are saturated with the spirit of the place where they were written. Now we often focus on the West, take other people's elements. But the nature of the song is connected with the human, his land. This is a separate topic regarding songs. I am ready to talk about it as much as you like. As for the stage, it has lost holiness. We are losing the sacredness of the stage before our eyes. The borders between the pop song and the song for celebrations, weddings, have blurred. There are many problems. I have contributed to the world, my lyrics and I will contribute more. Of course, much can be said about Israel Saparbay. He wrote soulful lyrics to numerous love songs. For example, I especially like in his work that musicals can be made from his lyrics and music. It is a very interesting and new trend. We grew up taking an example from such personalities who are still with us and among us. There is an opinion that they can return to folk motives, sources with a couple of songs. But it is not easy. A song is such a tender, ephemeral, fragile concept. As a plane lands on the strip, so the song should settle in your heart. And if it can't, then it will fly away. Therefore, the song requires a gentle attitude. For example, the main thing for me is that I like the song. If it happens, I can say that I will not take the money from the singer-composer. Because I have to like the song, that's all. Then I begin writing. After all, then the song will make me famous. And to take money for this will not be so good. And if I don't like the song, then I feel embarrassed. Recently I met the girls who came with the song. They didn't say anything, because they understood that their song did not please me at all. If the heart does not respond, then the text will not work. Yes, that is right. We have a lot of them. How will I write a song? It won't succeed. I cannot write text for this. There is a concept of taste. Thanks God, I have a taste. Hence we get such songs. If I have a taste for song, for life and for our society, sometimes the heart bleeds. By the way, do some poets from Itis write lyrics for songs? There are lots of them. How do you feel about them? I cannot forbid them to write texts. I mean their eagerness. Everyone has their own ambitions, their own dreams, since they have such a level. If they're trying to find a place in the stage, then what can I do? Absolutely nothing. During one interview I said, I have my own inner world. What kind of treasure is hidden there? Gold, silver or lead? Leave your mark. You have to reveal yourself. You reveal yourself and thereby you develop. And in the outside world you have listeners, viewers, readers. They call me a composer, but I'm not a composer. In fact, melodies come to me themselves. The same with poems. Poetry is an element. Therefore, they are all called verses. I think the abilities were transferred to me on the maternal side. I felt that my calling was to write poetry. 
And where the songs came from is still a mystery. I mentioned 160 songs. In general, I wrote more than 300 texts. I do not count them. And where does all this music come from? Poems and music do not come to a person just like that. They come from heaven. And I came to drama myself, having read Shakespeare and others. In Shimkand, I often visit a theater. During the premiere, I was asked to write a review. I then worked in a newspaper. Therefore, I often went to the theater. I also went to theaters in Almaty, read two volumes of Shakespeare's works, and once I wrote a play, Beauty from the Owl, that was 25 years ago. It was staged at the Owls of Theater for 13 years. There are three. Trinity. I'm a mother for them and father. Is not the Almighty endowing with talent. Just do not waste it. You need to protect it. Before the wedding, Israel Aga said to Mrs. Jupar, first of all, poetry, then you. Could you say that? <laughs> you know very well, during ITs we push our family side and head off to the competition. There was a contest once, ITs beauties. Women and art still have a harder time. It's necessary to take care of the family at the same time. Choose a family or art. With or without a girl, it's harder. And when Sara answered the question, as Elhana Pa said, the art is in your blood, then you found your husband. They know a lot and express their opinions for sure, that's all. So does your spouse inspire you and support? We need to think about the answer. You consider each answer. After all, a woman is a fragile creature. Let's discuss this topic. It is very interesting to be a poet's wife after all. A poet is like an old person or a child. Before marriage, a girl doesn't know what it means to be a poet, what this world is, whether it is harsh or soft. So what happened with my wife? She did not know what it is. It happened that she regretted. A man cannot get everything at once. He can be spiritually rich, but with material wealth, things will be worse. Almighty does not give everything at once. If he gives, then only one. It turns out that she thought, appreciating my talent, that in material terms everything would be fine. For this I cannot be angry at her, because it might lead to scandal, divorce, and all of that. And then our children were born. I live for my children. What is the fault of the children? I have many shortcomings. So does my wife. And you can't fix them anymore. While you re-educate, she re-educates you. Women are like that. A woman is created from a crude crib. If you try to strengthen it, it will be broken. But living on the same roof, people begin to get used to it, get accustomed. And now she's proud, when my song is gaining popularity. When I say a wish on big celebrations, sometimes it happens that I send her alone to such events in order to finish the work. And she comes back saying, without you, they don't even consider me as a person. Everyone asks, where is the husband? Where is Israel? 
<laughs> Only now she realized it. Thanks God. Now everything is fine. Children do not need anything. People know us, respect us. I will not call myself poor or rich, but I am not deprived of spiritual wealth. You must have heard of my youngest son, Yorki Bulan Saparbayev. Laureate of the International Awards. Now he teaches at the conservatory, studied in Moscow. Therefore, violinists in our family. Do children or grandchildren write poetry? Writing poetry is still difficult. To learn how to play the violin, you need to study, enter the conservatory. But for poets, there is no such training. The talent of the poet is a gift from above, I agree. Perhaps there will be such among the grandchildren, great-grandchildren. What is given will not be lost. In the meantime, my junior has become a famous Kazakh violinist, recognized internationally. It's good that there are four violinists in one family. That's very good. Including daughter-in-law Gauhar. Wonderful. She played in the orchestra of Marat Bisengaliyev. They have a son and a daughter. Both love the violin. So I can be proud of four descendants who were recognized in the world of Kazakh art. Excellent. And according to tradition, we ask for a gift from a studio guest. We won't let you go until you read the verses. In case from family life, I'm sitting in my office at the computer. She says, tea has long been ready, it has cooled. Then she looked carefully and said, recently you have had a lot of verses starting with A, B, Sh. I asked, what is wrong with that? And she answered, you are hiding something from me. B may turn out to be bisin cool. Sh. Jumagul, I say. It is nothing like that. Pushkin did the same in the, his time. There is such a tradition, and she scolded. Do not tell me fairy tales. And she was a little upset, because I could dedicate something to Jupar. This motivated me. Tea has cooled down anyway. I sat down and immediately wrote poetry. Her words affected me. I told her, they are the verses. No, je, only for Jupar. Now we can drink tea. I read them to her, and she burst into tears. I don't write poetry, I don't like it. I wrote it, I also don't like it. What are the tears? It is better not to write at all. Now I will read these very poems. Yes, poem. Ал менің көңілім зобалаң әлдегінде де жоқтайды. Жанарым жұмы жатқан мен көңілдің көлпар көрісем. Көзайым көптем ақтан мен көзайым жатып көрісем. Сал бауыр болсын сақтап, күз сарайған шақта бар алап, ақ көйлі кеген әтпа қыз ақ тұман үшін аралап, адасып жүрген сұңайлы көз жазы көңіл көшінен. Сұңғыла жұлыз құлайды сүмбіле көптің көсінен, қай жаққа барып оралдың көңілім менің пенде өй, әтпа қыз қайда жоғалдың. Шамылған жүрек, жүрбегей, жұлдыз ба, қыз ба, түнеші көгі жүн көктен түсен күм, тарылдау кеудем тұнысы, өңім бе, әлде түс көрдім. Жалының менен ұсытпай, жастығым дұрмап, жырымдап, жанымда менен ұсықтай, жатырсын ұйықтап, тұрылдап. Great. She sleeps calmly. Sniffs, because she's a calm, unhappy person. This is me who runs a lot and worry much. We are grateful to you for an interesting and informative conversation. I hope you liked it. We are grateful. We wish you to continue to make a great contribution to Kazakh poetry and literature. I consider it my duty to the Almighty and the people. I have to work as much as possible. We wish you a fruitful work. All the best.